Hello Spiral Outers and welcome uh, to a new didgeridoo tutorial. Uh, let's pretend for a moment that we're experiencing some intense tense times. Times 10. You know, just use your imagination. And you can validly ask yourself, how can your ditch playing help you with uh, coming, uh, breaking through that anxiety and stress? And that's a very valid question because the Jiridu is a special instrument in that regards. But before we go to how can the ditch playing help you, just for a moment, let's stop and um, realize that a lot of anxiety comes from thoughts. And if you don't take your thoughts as your masters, you're in a much better position. So if you, the thoughts come, you know, and they have this negative content, you can just let them pass by and, you know, hide and, you know, move along thoughts. Nothing to see here. But sometimes you need something physical. Some, sometimes this is not, um, you don't have enough of this conscious momentum inside yourself to say, okay, thoughts, I disregard you. I, I'm not you. And it doesn't matter what content you bring, you're still just thoughts. Sometimes you need to move yourself out by doing something. And here I feel that you do is a great, great instrument because it ties together uh, breathing and vibration, which are both very deeply embedded in human nature. So uh, the exercises that we'll do today are more on a push side, on the body side, on the breathing side, rather than doing something with the mouth, like uh, articulations and decorations and so on. This is not about precision. This is about releasing and taking in, you know, in a form of a tide that you feel that it is a universal principle that brings you life and that life you give on and then new life comes back in. So if you didn't manage to do circular breathing yet, no worries, you can still do the exercise. The exercise for you will be just expel air and sing to that um, vibration that comes out. Try to do it in a regularly, uh, in a regular way, which will hypnotize you, which will uh, mesmerize you to go into the state where it feels very effortless, where it comes like tide and, and takes you to one side and then draws you back in. So something like this. If you want, you can change the notes a little bit as you sing so that they guide you maybe a little bit differently. So just stay with it. Don't try three times and then um, give up. And even if your drone breaks and you just keep singing. And if everything is shaky a little bit, just go beyond that and things will come uh, in place. Um, it's more important that you breathe, that you sing. Pa, 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 or whatever you want to sing, um, just that it keeps flowing in and flowing out. Uh, you're doing it for yourself, so 
as long as the movement is in, as long as you're relaxing into it, it's fine. And the next level, um, you can connect everything into circular breathing. You know, you just stretch the tail of the drone and until it connects to the next push and push you can do a little bit harder so the exercise is a little bit more intense but in a good way it, it makes you breathe better So these exercises were tying together your breathing out, your drone and your voice. And this is a very powerful combination. Now we are going to push that principle a little bit further and go in a little bit more intense exercise. But I find that intensity to be very healing for the movements of breath that you're doing. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to push and then breathe in on that push okay because it's very good to breathe in after the push it's the right position of the diaphragm to do it and then we are going to sing and extend that tail of voice for a while and then when we feel okay now we're getting out of breath and then we push again and we breathe on that push so we don't go into breathing in when we feel the air is down but we let it we let it all out but because we let it all out because we push it we are giving diaphragm a better position better tension to breathe in and to breathe in better because when you're start when you start to miss air you go a little bit you know in this drowning situation and you don't want that you don't want to suffocate on, on lack of air so when you feel you have little you give it all out you know you die fully then you're born again um, but because you have died fully you can be born again better okay this makes much more sense when you actually do it and when the um all the gears click together and all the timings and all the tensions and momentums then it's very very enjoyable but you're balancing yourself like on a slack line you know you can't go too much in one direction or another anyway to repeat the exercise you push you breathe in then you sink it can be on the drone or on the tooth and you extend that tail for quite some time until you feel okay now i'm um starting to lack air and then you push again to breathe in with the rest of the air that you got that you got okay and you repeat that circle of life and it will rebalance your body from inside through breath something will change you just have to stick to it
So, this last version is um, technically most difficult and it will bring your attention, your intention as well to the performance because you have to balance that on the edge and um, that surely is some benefit to it but actually you might find uh, not pushing yourself to the limit more comfortable so maybe you want to play something between the version 2 and the version 3 mm, in any way I advise you to stick with it do not try five breaths and then say okay this doesn't work but really stick to it and if you are doing the version 3 then you can gradually push yourself and that feeling of air in your body and how you can uh, push it out to be able to take it in again that's a very very deep thing to feel and it will take all of your attention and it will balance your breathing you know in a great way um, so I really highly recommend this exercise whenever you're stressed even when you're tired and just want to go out of the realm of thoughts and come to the realm of the breathing vibrating body um, I hope you like the video so you can also like it by clicking you can subscribe if you want to support me you can get some of my music at music.lapen.com or you can um, get yourself a nice instrument at duendedigidoo.com make sure you keep spiraling out and make sure you keep playing the edge and it's all gonna be awesome